Let's take you right to the region. Our Chris Brown is in Jerusalem. And Chris, this story is developing quickly and there is a lot of contradictory information. We do have dueling narratives uh, this morning, uh, Jerusalem time here. Several American networks, along with the New York Times, are reporting that Israel has attacked uh, at least one target in Iran, but uh, sources in Iran are saying there was no attack uh, and that the explosions that people heard in the skies uh, were actually the result of uh, air defense systems working. The Iranian media has said three drones were struck in the area of uh, Isfahan, uh, Isfahan and its air defenses, as I say, were the ones that took them down. It's a very significant area. Uh, that city hosts a major military base. There's also uh, components of Iran's nuclear program uh, in the wider area around it as well. Uh, we're also hearing uh, some Israeli reports uh, that there may also have been uh, targets struck in uh, southern Syria as well, Iranian linked targets in southern Syria, Ian. Turn out to be an Israeli strike on Iran, and of course, as you say, there are contradictory uh, reports about that. But if indeed it does turn out to be an Israeli strike, it raises questions about Iran's response. Well, this whole region really is on a knife's edge right now. Uh, remember that Israel destroyed uh, an Iranian consulate in Damascus, Syria, back on April the 1st and killed several senior military commanders. Uh, Iran took its time and then launched a major uh, drone and missile strike involving some 300 projectiles fired at Israel. Uh, Israel's position was that was not a, let's say, valid response, that it actually crossed a red line. Uh, it was the first time that Iran had struck at Israel and also the size of the attack required uh, help from the United States, uh, Great Britain and Jordan in order to shoot down all of the missiles. So uh, the real concern is that uh, we were in the middle beginning at the, at the cycle of a very dangerous tit for tat escalation uh, that could continue to grow. But uh, it's also very notable that Iran's early suggestion this evening that uh, there was no attack uh, might be an indication that the uh, government there is trying to downplay this. Lots of questions to be answered. I know you're going to be working this story in Jerusalem where it is already, as you point out, Friday morning. Chris Brown reporting for us.